kind of busy like <laughs> with life uh, in general like I haven't had have any time to do any speed runs uh-huh. or much gaming at all yeah like your you, um, your absence was felt like an earthquake in the community I can tell you so uh, <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> that's nice I guess <laughs> yeah so what uh, what and um, what have you been doing some very uh, generous and productive things with life well, uh, like this summer, I have been disc golfing a lot, and uh, I've been working on few programming projects, and now I'm probably gonna be looking for a job with quite soon. A job Just with what? Uh, what? You said a job with something, but I didn't hear. Uh, like yeah, programming job. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, and so, I mean, you, you, I think I know you've really done a bit of work on with with Bandsbot and stuff like that. So, I mean, your your programming prowess is already well known in the elite. So, it's excellent that you're going to be putting that to good use in the real world. Um, has yeah. it been Has it been good? You say you've been busy, but has it been like a good kind of busy or a stressful kind of busy? Um, I mean. Uh... In a way, it's been stressful because it's been kind of unknown what's what's going to happen and stuff like that. But in a way, it's been kind of relieving okay. <laughs> that uh, uh, I kind of like paused my university studies for <laughs> now, and I'm gonna continue them like later on. Oh damn! Okay. Which which university are you going to? Uh, in Kajaani, there's. Okay, I I have to say I, I don't I don't know that one unfortunately. And, and I I was studying like uh, game technology stuff. Oh snap! Uh, and I I'm kind of feeling like moving on on to like more software side instead of like games. Uh huh. Is that is that because that's ultimately more of a something you're interested in, or just because that's where the real um, the real money is, or, or what? Well, I mean, money is one uh-huh. one factor. It is a factor. Well, basically, I feel like the software side is gonna be easier, and you get more money. So. Mm-hmm. That's, that, <laughs> so that sounds good to me. That, that's 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 good. And uh, if I want to make games, I can do it as a hobby instead of as a. As a, yep. to, to, as a as a career that pays less and yeah. is more difficult. Yeah. So we were we were chatting about this beforehand, but we think that you may be the most northern elite in the entire community. How does that make you feel? Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, it's... okay. <laughs> Doesn't really feel like anything. I mean, I guess it's an interesting fact. Have have you met up with any other elitists ever? No. Uh-huh. No, I haven't actually. So it would be fun though. <laughs> like when like when's the when's the Kaito and Bands Finland meet gonna happen? You'd have to ask Kaito. Ask Kaito. Honestly. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll do that after this. I'll ask him because <laughs> we all want to see that. Oh, and speaking of which, have you seen the? The the great facility curse of twenty twenty three, which Kaito well, is st- which is Kaito is still a victim of. Well, I mean, I have heard about it, but I have been kind of checked out out of Elite, honestly, and the speed running stuff in general. So. For, uh, how long have you been? Uh, has that been the case? Uh, <laughs> since 
Marines like to dance and then we need to league, I think. Okay, so like about a year and a bit then? Yeah, but uh, I mean, I have checked uh, the discords every now and then, but uh, not not nothing much really. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Red Screens asks, says, ask him which skill cape is his favorite. I don't actually know what that means, but do you understand that uh, question? Well, maybe the rune crafting cape is like untrimmed. Wait, so you you have to ex you have to explain the question to me. What does he mean by skill cape? It's like uh, in the runescape, there's there are like many skills that you can train and. Oh you will right. Get a, when you get the maximum level, uh, you'll get a skill cape for it. Ah okay. And yours is yours is the rune crafting. Yeah, I think so. But uh, honestly, I haven't <laughs> thought about that too much. Okay. I don't remember how the, all of the skill capes look even. So red red screens. What's your favorite skill cape then? <clears throat> I want answers. Hmm. Uh, so, to what extent do you actually keep up with the rankings and what's going on with um, things? Do you check uh, like once a I week, mean, once a month? Uh, when when I'm playing the game, I usually have one tab, at, at least one tab <laughs> of the elite open uh -huh. at all times, basically. Uh -huh. But uh, so at least once a day if I'm playing. Yeah. But, but but recently? Uh not so much. Uh -huh. So are you aware, for example, that Ace got uh bunker two double O forty nine? Uh I don't think so. <laughs> okay, right. So there's we have an, some breaking news for you. About a month ago Ace set uh he got the untied on B two double O. He got um, 49. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah, so I guess that doesn't really mean anything since you haven't seen it. So I'll just tell you. So, uh, yeah. that happened. We had the facility curse in the last month. What else did we have? We had. Uh, Callie got train one minute, which was which is cool. I think he wants to go for like 58. But. But yeah, I guess it doesn't make a super amount of sense if you haven't really actually been looking at it at all. So we might as well just jump, just uh, jump straight in. So yeah, I guess. So so how old were you when you when you first got into got into, got into video games? How old I was? Uh, or when you first played a video game? Let's see. Well, if I had to guess, I was probably like five or something like that. I'm I'm not really sure. Like we had uh, PlayStation One and L who's I... we? Is that like did you have siblings? Yes, <laughs> plenty of them. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> like how many are we talking? <laughs> like eight. Oh damn, man! <laughs> and so where do where do you what number of eight are you? Uh, like second to oldest. Okay, all right. So, did the PS One belong to your eldest elder sibling? Uh, yes, but well, <laughs> well, I had like the uh, step brother and step sister. I mean, step sisters. Uh huh, uh huh. And they had the, had it, and I don't really remember that much about the PlayStation One. Do you remember any of the games you Last played? Year? Like, uh, I think we had like Tekken 2 or something like that. And that's a that's a classic game. Uh, I don't really remember much much which games we had like rally games. V rally like maybe. Driving games. What? V rally, v -rally maybe. Well, that sounds familiar at least. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so so you played, but I, it it sounds like you weren't really properly into it at that point. Yeah, not at 
that point, I think uh, when I really got into it, uh, we we got a PS2 like one Christmas, and <laughs> and there's kind of funny. I was playing like NHL, and you can like watch replays. Uh huh. Uh, of, of the whole match. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. And so. So I can't read. I think I can't read at the time yet, or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, and I, I like opened the replays, and I can't get out of the replay mode. So I had to just stop playing. Oh man, <laughs> you you were just you were, you were just stuck just watching. And how, how long did the games? Well, how long did the games last? So a replay would be like how long? No, it it, it had like. Probably like 60 seconds replay. Oh, okay. Right. No, that still sounds kind of annoying if you, if you can't get out of it. Though. Right. And, and so that and so that was your first kind of like proper console. And so NHL was your first big game, would you say? Mm, yes, I think. Mm -hmm. One of the first, at least. Uh, any other PS2 classics that you uh, that you played a lot? Well, we had like Jack 3, I think, and uh, I don't really rem remember that much, but we had like a bunch of different rally games on PS2 more, as well. More more like, rally games. Like, somebody somebody was a really big rally fan in your house. <laughs> uh, probably me. Oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. <clears throat> uh, and I mean... I mean, my dad do. I remember about PS1 that we had Colin McRae rally, and my dad used to play it, and he used to say like, at, uh, "Vittu tääkin meni penki alle," uh, which means "fuck this this stage when uh -huh. under this." <coughs> that under sounds the chair, that, like as is. as Goldner play. I think that sounds that sounds like something we can all relate to. <laughs> Uh, is it, can you say it again? Uh, okay, you, you're gonna have to write that down because that's. I think that's. Uh, we should definitely start using that from now on. Mostly the penki alle, but. Does that? Like... Uh, Jura says Rally Fusion Race of Champions. Does that? Uh, does that ring a bell for you? No, I think we had like VRC games. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. But there's like plenty of them. Uh huh. So, so I have no idea which which ones we had, actually. So, so you went PS one, PS two, then was it PS three after that? Uh, PS three and we had like the handhelds, Game Boy, Game okay. Boy, and, and and did you have more rally games on all of those as well? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Of course, of course. Excellent. You gotta, you gotta have the rally games. Uh huh. And see, like you're you're really a rally game connoisseur. Maybe a little bit. But like, <laughs> for like for, for the elite mar for the elite um uh marathon, have you have you considered doing like a rally game marathon of like all the rally games that you played like back to back? Uh, I mean, I haven't thought about like really game specifically, but I have like some games that I have thought about playing in a marathon. Mhm. Mm so, so when was the point in your gaming career when you decided to play something that wasn't a rally game? <laughs> I mean, I played on the PS2 like uh, FIFA, NHL at least. And okay. Like, there were different games, obviously, but I just cannot remember them for the life of me. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, fair enough. Uh, so maybe let's, let's skip, skip forward a little bit then. So, what was your first ex... Oh, I guess I was gonna say, what's okay. your, I was going to say, what's your first exposure to speedrunning? But then, I guess, you know, racing games by nature... Racing games are literally speedrun games. So, yeah, you were kind definitely. of already in that... Act, that Mindset already, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, w what okay. was your what was your first exposure to like official speed running? 
Of course, no speed running like uh, I think in 2013 I was watching like Twitch and there was obviously Siklemik doing speed runs and uh, Ch Josh Himus doing like GTA San Andreas speed run. Yeah. And yeah, obviously GTAs I used to play them on PS2. Mm hmm. The classics, like San Andreas. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I mean, I can talk about the gaming history a bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure, like sure. The PS2. Yeah, sure, and please. The handhelds, like, uh, I used to. Obviously, PS3 I had, and uh, Call of Duty was like big modern one for two. Yeah. And I used to like do trick shotting in it, and I have like a lot of videos on YouTube of your trick shots. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, uh, gonna have to take that out. Yeah, they are kind of, in a way, like like we have hoarding. Mm -hmm. They had like mon montage. Montages, yeah. Yes, and you had like editing and. Music on them. Are they are they are they on your on your same channel? Uh, they are on different channel. Okay, like you you have to You'd link have to you have to link that for everybody. I mean, I can look. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we can do it like like uh, like uh, like uh, afterwards, and uh, so everybody can browse through your your trick your trick shot compilations. I think that's oh nice, the one. perfect. <laughs> oh, so you you were still bands even back then? Yes, uh, I mean I can tell you the story about my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So uh, the bands, or whatever, how you pronounce it? Uh, it's basically like uh, when I was in like the first grade ish or something like that. I used to wear wear uh, like yellow shirts, mm -hmm. and basically I got a nickname Banana in Finnish, Banani. Right. And uh, there's like a fancy way of saying Banani in Finnish, Bansku. Uh huh. Okay. So, so I that's where the name comes from, and I kind of shortened it to Bans because it it sounds better and. <laughs> And, and and that's where the the yellow color comes from. Yeah. Right. And so what that's story? the story of my name. Uh -huh, okay. And then obviously the banana, uh, the banana icon as well. Yeah. The and the running banana is basically speech running. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Made some, a channel for speech running. Some bands lore. And, yeah. I I had to make the profile profile picture. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it is it based on the? I haven't looked at it really closely. Is it based on the um, you know the 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 old dancing banana gif from like the early two thousand? No, it is not the one. Oh, okay. I don't I don't think so. I I just I think I searched for running banana. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Like, and that was that. The Google search and <laughs> and then I. Uh, put on the meme classes, the oh, of course, black classes, yeah. I think, on, on top of it. So. Right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, sorry, you were saying about um, um, during your 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 early gaming era. Yeah. Uh, yes, the Call of Duty was obviously a big part. Like I played those games for a few years. I. A lot of the trick shooting stuff, and like there was the feeding, so you get like multiple kills in the succession really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. Uh, well, and like, uh, I mean, I didn't play much Call of Duty, but the meme that I know about is the 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 the, the 360 no scope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's like a lot of tricks. It's it's quite interesting. Like uh, there are like these glitches that you can do with the animations, and they kind of look 
kind of cool for some reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so the tricks others used to like do those. those, um, those so, 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 so you you, you were making impressive gaming based videos like long before you started speedrunning. Uh, I mean, I suppose it. It depends who you ask if they are impressive. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, they, they sound impressive from, uh, from I mean, from yeah, yeah, they they are fun. Like, I'm I'm sure a lot of people have done like ping with ping pong balls or something like that. Some kind of tricks. It's, it's kind of fun, fun to do stuff like that. Uh huh. It's just in the game. In in a game, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These things. Kind of like, do you know uh, the channel Dude Perfect? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're the guys who do stuff like that. They'll yeah. do stuff like where they they try and hit a ping pong ball from like from the the top of like the, from the top of a building into a cup or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you were just doing it in game. Yeah, basically. There, there was like quite huge community around that. Oh yeah, I mean I don't think it was possible to be even slightly aware of gaming in that era and not have some awareness of uh, you know Call of Duty trick shots. Yeah. So that was you for a long time then? Yeah, I mean for a few years I think uh, I mean if you look at the channel uh, I think I had like two years of like when, when 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 would that have been? Uh, these videos are ten years ago. Okay, so and pretty old. So wow, it's been a while. It's a classic, huh? Mm -hmm. And so, and Call of Duty were the first uh, real shooting games you played. Yeah, I think it was at least one of the first experiences. Like I, I think I used to do like. Counter Strike at my friend's house, and then the Call of Duty. We used to like play split screen, and that shit was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that, uh, what was that? Sorry. Uh, Call of Duty on split screen. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I did that with my um. So. I remember I did that with my friend at, at like at, it would have been at university. That would have been around two thousand and. 11 something like that yeah so basically basically the, i'm the zoomer version of <laughs> like golden eye golden eye people played golden eye when they were young uh -huh. and doing like call of duty <laughs> with was your golden gold. eye yeah uh, have, have, have you ever played uh, golden eye on split screen have you ever had anyone to play with no, actually not. Damn, okay. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy, because, I mean, Call of Duty, we obviously think of just online, but, yeah, there was a, there was a split-screen mode, so, uh, yeah, yeah, at least you have that experience. Yeah, that that was my introduction to Call of Duty. Mm. These days, that, those kind of, like that kind of pacing does do it for me. Like I prefer if if I'm playing a shooter, I prefer like Arma, Arma Three. Uh, I like I, that I haven't played that. What, what, what kind of what kind of game is that? It's like mil sim, military simulator. So. Oh okay, kind of so, like like Command and Conquer kind of thing. Uh. Is it like real time? It, it, it's like it's like it's like a, like a, like the like the, the the top down strategy kind of thing. No, yeah. no, not like that. It's like a uh, first slash third person. It depends on the settings. Uh -huh. You can like ch change them stuff like that. But like I mean the pacing of the game that you're kind of slowly. <coughs> for example, you can be sni doing sniping and. If you're like in real life, you're a sniper. You're not gonna run around a map. Uh huh. Okay. Towards, towards the enemy, you're gonna actually like go prone and crawl on the ground, uh -huh, <laughs> stuff uh -huh. like that for a long time. So it was kind of like like a tactical shooter. Yeah, I guess. 
Mm. Just just like the slower based games. They they are good. Uh huh. Okay. Like well, was that was that multiplayer or single player? Uh, it's multiplayer game. Mm. And that would have been what around the same time as Call of Duty? No, that that's that was later on, like uh, a few years ago. I used to play them uh -huh. more, but yeah. So uh, so so you would have started um, becoming aware of speedrunning by that point. Yeah. Mm. And you were saying, um, uh, oh, it was um, a GTA that you were mostly watching. Uh, GTA and I think I at first I watched the uh, Super Mario 64. Oh, the Clement, yeah, 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 you said. I don't remember about it much, and I haven't even played SM64 <laughs> before. Oh, but you were still interested. Yeah, the I think the like the competition part and like <laughs> just going fast, it it seemed interesting. Oh. Uh -huh. And and were you um uh, and have you ever apart from Goldeneye have you ever speedrun anything else? Yes, yes. Uh, so it, back in two thousand and thirteen, I personally got introduced, and then then I I was like thinking about what kind of games games I could speedrun from my past, and now that I think about it, here we go. <laughs> Uh, hear about some games that I have played in the past. Uh -huh. So Tony helps. Oh, I cool. Forget, forget about them. So w uh, which w to, w which Tony Hawk? Uh, well, I used to speed run Tony Hawk's Underground 2, but I have played like uh, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. That was obviously we had on PS1. Yeah. And we had three. And PS1 as well, I remember correctly. Then the Tony Hawk Underground 2 on PS2. Uh, and that was uh, when you that was when you tr you started you decided to speed run. Yeah, uh, I started that that speed running that game because I had a lot of fun when when I played it as younger <laughs> person. Yeah. Before then and. Uh, and the game basically, it's kind of actually like in really interesting speed run because you have like these levels and you have these different goals that you need to do in the level. You can do them in any order you want. Uh -huh. so there's like the speed run routing part. So it's, like, it's kind of like Super Mario 64, but uh, but you don't exit the level when you when you get a star. Yeah. Yeah, you you just exist in the level and uh, get enough goals done, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you progress on the next level. And and the pro skater games, they used to have the like the two minute timer, and that that used to be like free play. That you didn't have the two minute timer. Yeah. You just did the goals. Uh, how slowly you wanted to do it. <laughs> and you could roam in the level and stuff like that. But obviously for speedrunning that's not really an option anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but there's the free roaming part, I guess. that That's why I enjoyed the game more. Because it was that's stressful. And what... Um, and was, yeah. what, what kind of community is there for... What, uh, for Tony Hawk's yeah, for Tony Hawk's uh, speed running. Well, back in the day, we used to have like there was no websites for <laughs> for speed running that much. I mean, there was speedrunslive.com, which had like the Twitch streams that were, had speedruns on them. If you had done like races, you got to be on the website. And that was one place where I found a lot of stuff. So that so speedruns live was more for races than for like I, best time. I mean, uh, they had like this IRC chats that you could like have the races on, and 
then then the li live streams they weren't necessarily races they were just speed running in general yeah um so how well to what extent was it really possible to was it well no would you say that there was much much competition like if you got uh, a good time would you be able to compare it to the best people or like not really like uh like in back in the day there was basically basically i was one of the first people speed running the game actually like there were few speed runs out there but uh like it didn't take too long until i had the like the fastest run that i at least knew of okay at the time That's pretty good so <laughs> so so, so for so cool. at one point you were you were you were world champion Yes, actually, if you look in the speedrun.com, you can see that in the history that I had there. Oh, holy shit. Okay, some some more bands I mean, lore we didn't know about. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and so, so how long did you hold the record for? Uh, I'd have to see the page, basically, for the history. Do you, do you have there. an approximate idea? Probably like a year or two or something like oh, that. That's, that's not I bad. Used, we used to run the game for about that much. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think. And then and then somebody came along and bought you eventually. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. <laughs> and, and it kind of got frustrating. <laughs> Game like, in general. Uh -huh. Oh, I the history page these days on speedrun.com is a bit different. Uh, how long did I have it? Uh, I think like a year. It's pretty good. I had to bring on, and I improved it a little bit. And uh, if I check the how oh, well the time dies these days that I did uh, how many years ago? Nine years ago I in 2014 I did a run which was like nine minutes and four seconds and it's on the 37th place Oh well, that's still pretty good given that it was nine years ago of, Out of apparently 112 people That's pretty good so, that's that's definitely not nothing to be nothing to be sniffed at. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's decent at least. <laughs> yeah, but decent. yeah, these days they have like a lot of different tricks that I have checked. Right. So okay. They are so like maybe fast. like may, 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 maybe you're still the world champion skill wise, but they all no. just uh, <laughs> no. no, they had they have like new techniques that that are actually much harder. Oh, okay. Mm. Like there's a boot slap, which is like you can like jump a lot of times in the air. Uh huh. If you like do, I th I think you if you some frame perfect a, inputs or something. Uh, probably not good, but you just need to like <laughs> spam, spam uh -huh. the jump button and. Uh, like do a trick mm -hmm. or a ledge yeah, yeah. or something like that. I'm not quite sure I haven't been uh, that community in a while. <laughs> well, well, well. So I, I was gonna ask. So after you, after you conquered the world of uh, of Tony Hawk's, and then you decided, okay, I need a need a new challenge. So, uh, yeah, and it, well, yeah. A anything else? Anything else that you uh, well, tried? I mean. Uh, that was like the main game that I used to do and well I have done like a lot of different games uh, but not for as long as Tony Hawk's Underground 2 uh, that was the big like one. I've done the GTA's ah. Y City and San Andreas and uh, I think like some of the DLCs of GTA, GTA 4 Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm not sure about what else out of cheating. But, but you, n you never got any you know, close to world champion and... No, mm -hmm. those were like uh, one run here and there. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. So on those games, like, uh, yeah. yeah. And many of them I haven't even submitted to their ranks at all. Uh -huh, just for some reason, I don't know <laughs> why. Um, and so, so well, when did you become aware of the uh, of the elite? Then, when would that have been? Well, that's that I have to think about. Uh, I think I found some streams like probably Goose on speedruns live and ill and. Probably Mark Rutsu. So that would have been like 2013, something like that? Uh, when would that have been? I think it was like 8th grade. 8th grade for me, so 1st uh, grade in Finland, so at 7 years old. So I was what, like 15 years old? Mm -hmm. So, 10 years ago. Okay, so about 2013 then. Yeah, I, that's when I like found out about some of the speedrunners in Elite. And yeah. obviously I didn't start at the time. But actually, like I was interested at... I'm not sure if I was interested in 2013, but uh, at least a few years. After that, I was interested in in the speed runs, really, and uh, I I liked tried the emulator emulator stuff, but I think I couldn't figure out the controls because of 1.1 1 .1 and uh, like the emulator, and I was using like a PS3 controller or something like that. Uh -huh. And I was just too confused that I just said fuck this shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> then, then, then. So you didn't, you didn't come back for a while. Yeah. <laughs> then eventually, eventually, probably like the time that I tried it on the emulator, I got it working, and uh, and that was probably like 2018. So, in 2018, it was still uh, emulator only for you? Yeah. So, uh, well, what inspired the decision to finally, you know, make the jump and get a console? Well, I mean, I was having a lot of fun and I think I was, like, in various different streams and stuff like that. D do you remember um, any, any streams in particular? Well... I mean, I think I was in the Kaido stream, at least at some point. Ah, oh, nice. I'm not sure if it was before I had the consoles. Probably was. And, I mean, there are plenty, plenty of different ones, obviously. Yeah. I <laughs> just don't remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, 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 so you were hanging out in the streams and hanging out with elitists, and then eventually you thought, okay, I should, I should get a console. Yeah, but but we are missing one part of my speed speed running history, oh, which okay. I think is kind of important. At least it's important for me. Uh huh. Like it's the sim racing, uh, sim racing part, which which I'm probably one of the like it's probably one of the proudest part of my speed running. I think. Uh huh. At least, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so obviously, I told about the rally games, rally games, rally games. Yeah. So there is this game called Dirt Rally. Uh, it's like fairly, fairly like simul, big simulator for rally games. Like it's kind of little bit arcadey, but it's simulator slash arcade uh -huh. game and so I used to play it on controller at first and 
Uh, I had a lot of fun. It was kind of difficult. And it was a lot of fun, obviously. And I got the uh, I ended up getting a wheel for it because it was so fun. And I got into sim racing. And and there there was like this big league for the virtually community in one of the sim racing communities and it, they had had the league and it had like and how, how big was the community well i'm not sure about the community in itself it has like a lot of different sim racing games but the dirt rally community uh, the league had like over 100 people competing in and uh, and I, I actually got third place in the first league season that I competed in. Uh, that's As pretty I good for the first, first league. <laughs> first I was, yeah, I was like grinding it a lot, a lot. Uh -huh. and that's that's kind of the speed running, speed running genes, I guess. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So th th that that was part of where you developed your um, your speed running mindset. Yeah, I mean. That and I had had it before from the Tony Hawks because the sim racing was in 2017, I think. Yeah. And so I got third in the first season, and then the second season was like they made a system where like top 20 or something got into like higher bracket out of the first season. Yeah. So I got in the higher bracket. And uh, there was the lower bracket, which everyone could compete in, even if they didn't compete in the first season. So, so what happened? So, How did you do? And well, I got first. Oh, con first congratulations! Place in, in the second season, and yeah, that was that was quite cool. And so I'm, I'm talking to a world champion, Tony Hawks, and uh, Dirt Rally. Uh, yeah, and. And basically, the dirt rally, like, I used to have, when I grinded at the times for it, grinded and practiced, uh, uh, I got, like, I think two, two different world records in the finish stages, actually. Oh, snap. <laughs> so, there are, like, uh, probably, like, tens of thousands people that have done time still so <laughs> I'd say that's pretty decent yeah dude but but I mean the there are like a lot of different like car classes so a lot of different different, different stages, oh, classes so, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah different classes and uh, different stages so obviously there not everyone have has done the exact stages that I I grinded. Still impressive though. Still Yeah, I mean <laughs> definitely. It felt great at least to be first out of Like like uh, like how long obviously maybe it wouldn't be specific, but how long were the grinds for those kind of things as compared to, you know, something like Goldeneye? Uh well I used to have this system basically uh we had the had the league and you basically had one one country and then I started grinding the country that we had the weekly weekly races uh -huh. on and I just grinded them out. Uh, um, and but like to get oh and so you, you mean it would change every week? Yeah, the right okay. the country country which the stages were changed every week and uh, so I tried it like a uh, single stage or a few stages for a few days mm -hmm. okay. ish. Ah. So they were not that big grinds but uh, and so and so how, how long so was it just one season where you were uh, top of the world 
Uh, well, after that, I basically had to go to mandatory military service, so uh, that was the end of that. Uh -huh, brutal. <laughs> I, was, I was out for nine months uh -huh. out of everything, and I kind of lost interest in the sim racing stuff. Oh, man. Uh, and actually, after that, I got into GoldenEye. So. Yeah, uh -huh, okay, yeah. so you, like you, you think it was the uh, it, like it was the military service that got you uh, got you back into shooting games. Uh, well, I don't know, I don't know. I I'm not <laughs> sure about that. I just was probably looking for a interesting speed game or something. Yeah. And uh, well, the Elite obviously has nice points system. It's not just who has the fastest time Yeah, every, in, like, everybody loves category. the point system. I mean, I know it's kind of a little bit under under fire at the moment, but I think the point system is one of the most precious things that we have in, in the community. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, so it was after your military service that you decided to get the console? Yeah, I mean, that's when I kind of got into the like got into the s streams and the emulator stuff after it uh-huh and then console came a little bit afterwards yeah so i i at first i got the pal pal console obviously as i'm from finland yeah and then i i i got it got the NTSC like very fast after it because I just wanted to get into the <laughs> get into the speed running like properly with uh -huh. proper equipment so I got everything. Yeah, everything, I think I mean, like, that's, that's a familiar story for a lot of people I think. I I got all of the versions for both games actually. Nice. <laughs> Pretty quick. So Perfect dark has been in the dark. <laughs> so you so, could say. So you, you wanted to you wanted to take it seriously quite quickly. Yes. Yes, I would say I I wanted to take it seriously quite quickly. Indeed. Mm, and so when you when you when you started, did you have were you thinking, wow, I've been world champion on two different games, so. I want to be the world champion of this, or were your oh, yeah, ambition no. slightly smaller than that, or, or what? No, honestly, I <laughs> I don't think like that at all. That <laughs> that I was world champion at this and this. Uh huh. Uh, I just I just wanted a game where I could compete in and just I mean on <laughs> emulator I had fun, so I thought it might be fun to just compete for the for real. <laughs> On their ranks. Oh, and this is something that I know that I know about you that a lot of people don't know is that for like I don't know how long it was, like a year or two years or something like that, you were playing through. You didn't have a proper uh, TV or a CRT or a monitor. You were playing playing through OBS on your computer. Yes, yes, that is true. And uh, actually, like. Um, I mean, on my profile it says when I got the retro thing, so that's when I ended playing with with OBS yeah. <laughs> only. And uh, well, I got I got a lot of good I I'd say good impressive times considering I was playing through OBS. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when I whenever I looked at OBS, like it's the lack, it's like half a second of delay. Like that's uh, I've no idea how how you manage that man. I mean, I I'm not sure if I had as big delay because it obviously depends on your capture card and oh, okay. your right, camera right. and a lot of stuff. But there was there was certainly bigger delay than I have now. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so obviously. Obviously, the delay kind of made the grinds dip uh, much harder. Yeah, and I'm many sure of did. my early grinds actually were <laughs> maybe one of the hardest <laughs> grinds that I have had. What what, what what was the first stuff that you that, that you went for, like the first points? 
Uh, run away as a 23. No, the classic. The first. But, like, I'd say out of out of the first times, which was hardest, was Archive 16. And that actually took like 300 hours on, on OB. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it did. <laughs> Uh, and actually that made, almost made me quit, quit the space running all, all together, honestly, because... So maybe that's where your great mindset came from, the fact that you had to play with such a bullshit system on OBS, it made you so much mentally tougher? Mm, maybe. <laughs> it also may, may, maybe made my brain melt a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. because I had to cry so much. <laughs> Were you aware of how much of a disadvantage it was, or did you not realize until you got until like later? I mean, it didn't feel that bad, so I didn't really know. But I hadn't felt any better, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I won't know. But I had like I think like Yendis was telling me that you should get <laughs> something better. Mm -hmm. Prob probably other people as well. And then, um, so what? What were the best? So you got Archive sixteen. What were the other best times you got with OBS? Well, well, Archive sixteen is probably the best that I got. But other impressive time uh, times, I'd say, are like uh, statue. Double O Agent to 19, which I actually skipped to 20. That's pretty impressive. And so, <laughs> so I'd say that that was quite good, as obviously I wasn't that great player at the time, and I had a handicap as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was quite good, and I was hap really happy about that time actually, and I mean. Kind of strange, but like runway runway double O H and thirty seven, which is really bad completion with the I think the two tap tap nades. Well, uh, I mean, I, I think that that still that ties Mark Ace and like, Clemens still, so that's still <laughs> a pretty good time with Barubias. Yeah, but, but uh, it was probably the first time I caked. Like uh -huh. I did practiced the throws for like few hours and did few hours of attempts I, and I got the time. And mm -hmm. boy I was excited about that since basically every other time took at least 50 hours. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's finally, if you got something quickly. Yeah. And so I imagine when you actually finally got the retro team that must have been a complete game changer for you. Yeah, yeah. They, it's a game just felt much easier and I was actually playing like the Bunker 1 SA and it was quite fun even though the level is it's I mean the Bunker 1 SA people say it's bad level which I mean it kind of depends on the mindset like if you're expecting a completion then it's gonna feel like shit because you're not gonna get the completion anytime soon yeah but if you're enjoying shooting the cameras, it's like when you shoot camera with one shot, it's kind of like shooting uh, on the CS, you get AK one taps. Uh -huh, it feels yeah, yeah. like that. It's really satisfying, honestly, when you get the cams on one shot. Yeah, but yeah. So you were, you were going for, were you trying to one shot the last camera as well? No, I, I I was doing the last camera really safely uh -huh. at the time at least, and I went really trying to be one is a after that honestly. Mm -hmm. well, what time did what it's time did you end up with? Uh, I got twenty three back okay. then, and yeah, it's no still bad. my BB. Yeah, I, mean, I think trying to do that level with OBS would have been fucking impossible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would have been quite yeah. bad. Um, so that so that was your first like grind actually playing Goldeneye. It was as it was intended to be played. So 
so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, have, we have skipped few interesting facts, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, In a yeah, way. <laughs> In a way that uh, when when I first played, casual first playthrough of GoldenEye, I actually played it with 2.x. Oh, okay. Because I was reading the forums that 2.x is faster, so mm -hmm. obviously I go in that. I'm gonna play with 2.x because it's faster. Uh -huh, Run it yeah. straight away. <laughs> yeah, why not? And I mean, it honestly wasn't too bad, and uh, yeah, it it was it was all right. Like it it took a while to figure out the controls because uh, I hadn't had N64 before, I hadn't hold, held the controller before, so <laughs> when you have three prongs on the controller, it's kind of quite different than the modern controllers. Yeah, big time. So, figuring out what works, so I ended up with the 2.x and and actually there's one fun fact that uh, I have the movement controller on my left hand and on the right hand I have the aiming stick because I'm used to the modern controllers where you aim basically with Yeah, I, 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 I thought that was standard like um, left was aim and right was move I, I could be wrong about no. that like... The other way around I have it I move on left Oh, right Aim with right oh, okay. because Interesting. Because I'm used to the modern stuff, like, for example, on PC, you have the mouse on your right and movement. Right, the yeah, 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 I get you. So I applied the same logic, and uh, <coughs> yes, that that's good, but so when I play with one controller, I play with D-pad, but I would love to have the C buttons on the left side of the controller, but there's no such controller, at least that I know. Of. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe so someone, they, maybe someone they, somewhere has made something like that, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of bad because I cannot press left and right at the si same time with the bad so Yeah, yeah. Cannot, yeah. cannot override the button. Oh yeah. So uh, there so, could be times where I like have like one frame of only having C up or D mm -hmm. up or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I switch. Um but so so you've been using basically uh, two point X from the beginning. Yes, but uh but I I changed to one point two with D bat. Uh on levels that I don't need D point X, but well, yeah, yeah, yeah. but course. honestly, D point X is quite natural for me. It's there's only maybe the it's it's kind of awkward to have like the two controllers, obviously because you cannot hold them properly. Maybe using the ridiculous tape thread where you tape the controllers so together. together yeah. I haven't done that myself. Yeah, I, I I was using um, I, when I was playing train, I was using I don't know. I, at some point, I decided to do the same thing. I thought, you know what, two point X is faster. There's no excuse to not use it, and so I um, I started using it recently as well. And yeah, I I feel like it's the fear factor behind two point X is really overrated. I think. I don't think it's... People act like it's like some crazy alien shit that's like fucking impossible. But if you if you just spend like a week or two with it, you, you can get used to it and it really isn't that bad. No, I mean, yeah, it just depends on what you're used to. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like... I think that's the biggest thing. I think the biggest thing isn't how difficult it is, but it's being prepared to get worse again before you get better. And I think some yeah. people just aren't prepared to aren't prepared to do that. Yeah, it's it's honestly really difficult. For example, out of my hobbies, disc golf. You kind of, if you want to improve in disc golf, you need to be ready to like blow up your technique. Uh huh. So you get to back to the basics and. 
Yeah, and just yeah, 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 for exactly. From the bottom, bottom up. Yeah, and I think some people, for some people, they're just like, oh, I just want to have fun. I don't want to have to, you know, reinvent the wheel, basically. Yeah, it must be frustrating to like do yeah. but, but much worse. Yeah, that, that's that, that, that's do. that's part of the reason why I decided to do it as well. I I, I thought to myself, ah, oh, well, you know, maybe I should get really good with one, better with one point two. Then eventually, when I need it, I'll use two point X. And I thought, no, that's not a good idea because all that will happen is I will just um, make one point two more of a habit, and the more I use it, the harder it will be to switch. And so I thought to myself, well, you know, I'm not a great player now, and so this is the time when it will probably make the best sense to do it early rather than later. And so that was my that was my logic. Yep. And so, do you feel as though it's given you an advantage? Uh, two point X playing casually. Uh, maybe at least I got used to the controls, like without having any pressure. So yeah, mm. I guess that that helped a little bit. And well, I have done some grinds where I have like like I haven't needed to hold the controller. On my second hand because it's like strafing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the CC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever it was called. Yeah, it was a cruise control. I held the controller even though I didn't need to hold it. At, at least on jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I'm mean, with um. Uh, go back to B1 SA. Was that your? Was that the your? So th that that sounds like a. I'd say twenty three is a kind of step up from something like Archive sixteen, which not everybody has. Would you say that that uh, Bonko one grind was a kind of big step up for you? It was a bigger grind than anything you had done before. Uh, or like a harder time, let's see. Well, I mean, honestly, it. It wasn't really that hard, but it was like just get about getting the completion, and I'm just che checking my spreadsheet sheet at the moment, and I I actually played only like 38 hours of it. Uh huh. So pretty quick. So which, actually. which which for me isn't that much, but I mean for some people. That's a lot. <laughs> but well, I mean, but I I didn't mean in terms of like um, uh, just the, the grind time, but just in terms of like the the the, the difficulty of the time. That was. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it didn't feel that hard, honestly. All yeah. right. Okay. So okay. The so it, yeah. Uh, I mean, the game just felt easier with with the retro thing instead of OBS. Uh huh. And and so maybe a, a better question be asked. So like, um, was there some more well, like what kind of grinds around that time when you got um, when you got the retro thing? What were the what were the like what were some examples of the new type of grinds that you were prepared to take on and the more difficult stuff that you were starting to play? Well, I mean honestly. Honestly, I didn't really like think of what was hard and what was not. And I think at the time I was like going off a list, list that had there was like a Discord message which said that uh, how to get thousand points easily. Uh -huh. So I was going off that, but I'm not sure if I was going off that still at the time or was I already done with that uh, but yeah I, I just kind of randomly picked uh -huh. levels so, so uh, at this point you were just you were just trying to build up points basically yeah and well uh, I mean yeah I felt like I could do a lot more with 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 the retro thing so I guess I went for the harder times. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, like, like, what would have been? Do you remember any of them? Any of the like the early uh, re retro tint grinds? Mm, I mean, there was them as a one nine day at least, but I mean, that's something, I guess, at the beginning. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know. Maybe I'll ask a different question then. So, um, was there was there some point? at which you realized that you would actually be capable of getting some top times? Like, was there some kind of um, big grind that you remember? Well, that the kind first of big grind that made me realize that I was decent at the game. Uh, maybe, maybe Jungle was one of the first. Uh, would first that have been the, the um, uh, agent, the world record? Uh, that was last of, last of my jungle grinds. Uh, I was actually like, I, I picked jungle and I didn't really have any goal time in mind. And uh, basically, I think Irie was like playing jungle as well. And uh, so I showed some runs that I had done and he kind of told me that but I could improve and I improved and then showed again and he told me more stuff to improve and I just kept going on and well all of a sudden I was basically grinding for the world record on double O agents yeah. at first <laughs> so, so so yeah, I guess that's where I kind of realized that I could get some pretty good times. Alright, so uh, um, uh, um, Iru was a big help on that on that grind? Yeah, yeah, he, he kind of gave me many tips that what, what I could do. Like, for example, I was detonating the mines, like, after I threw them, instead of letting them land and detonating all of the mines at the same time for less lag. Uh huh. Stuff like that. But, yeah. Uh, and so, uh, I have to say, because I, I, obviously Joris has the SA and double O times now. I have to say, I don't remember, did you get the double O record? Yes, I got double O agent as world record, but I didn't get SA. Because I, for, for some reason, <laughs> I played double O agent first. Mm -hmm. Instead of SA, even though SA was easier. Um, and then, so you play double O first, and then we got the double O record first, and yeah. then w did you and go then, for SA? But then Joris got the untied. Yeah, Joris got the untied first. And then, and then you, and then you got the agent record. Well, the agent record, that was way, way, way down the line. Because uh -huh. that was that was probably like one of the hardest grinds I have done. Uh-huh. So the, the double grind was easier for you? Yeah, I'd say it was easier. And so th that was, that would have been your, well, that would have been your first world record? Or had you had a world record before then? Uh, I had a world record, yes. Um, I think I had the runway agent 22. Uh huh. At least at the time. And uh, probably as SA as well. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh -huh, okay. If I had it. But then, run, but then Jungle Double would have been your first big boy world record. Yes. So like, how, how 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 was that? Like, um, when you were, uh, like, when when you were going for it, did you, did you always have confidence that you could get it, or were you kind of thinking like, oh man, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get this or or what? Because th that's a pretty big I mean, big world record to go for. I mean, I think I usually have these ups and downs where you kind of like some days you feel like. I'm totally gonna get this time and other day you're gonna feel like no way I'm not getting this time. Uh-huh. 
Mm. I mean, you, you powered through eventually and you got it. Yeah, I got it and I think I made like some kind of music video for it or something. Um, I don't quite remember if it was that run or something else. Do you, do you remember how many hours that took you? Well, I don't remember, but I can check. Mm -hmm, okay. And it it took. Uh, I mean, I I have 532 hours on on the uh, double O agent jungle. Okay, so I like about 500 hours. Yeah. Okay, like big big grind. Yeah, that's that's quite big grind, I would say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Yeah, about about the big grinds, it's it's honestly like lack of focus then that makes the grind so long. I usually have like background streams or video. Uh huh. Like, and and you feel like that that makes you play worse and it takes you longer. I mean, I would say it makes me take much longer, but uh huh. Like so, do, so do you not do that anymore? Or do you still do it? Well, I mean, I haven't played. Well, like well, when, when you were last so playing, yeah. like, like, was there some point at which you you decided, oh, I shouldn't do this, I should really focus, or have you always done? I mean, it? I have done some sessions where I haven't really, like, I basically close all other monitors around me and just mm -hmm. focus on the game. But so I feel like that fa feels too boring. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's it's kind of annoying that uh, we basically have like uh, what's it called dopamine? Yeah, too do much dopamine. dopamine. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have basically addiction and stuff like yeah, yeah. that. So so yeah, it's kind of bad to improve on that and uh, like try to like not do anything at some point so get, you get used to the like boring feeling uh, well i mean and uh, speaking of speaking of boring levels i can't remember when was it approximately when you got b116 b116 uh i'm not quite sure uh i mean it was after the ward amalgamates uh, after that Oh, so what, 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 what were the, uh, what were the times you unhoarded in in amalgamates? So, 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 the amalgamates horde, I basically, basically was grinding for the jungle agent for the longest time, and uh, and after I got the jungle agent for the nine, then I got basically. Uh, what was it? Like the Cavs Agent 101 a week after Jungle Agent, and then like three or four days after that, I got SA Agent, uh, S1 Agent 102, and then like 20, 25 days I got after that, I got. Depot SA39. Mm -hmm. Those those four were the times that I got in Amalgamates. Yeah. And actually during during Amalgamates after the Depot SA time I started to grind B1 B116 and and basically the uh, Wolangen, what's what was his name? I forgot. Yeah, uh, 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 Joachim. Yes, Joachim, and uh, he he got the the what the double post threat yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever, and that basically made the grind much easier. I, I I already got fairly close before then, but it it was quite hard without it. Um, once, once that strat came out, I knew that I was going to get 16 uh -huh. at some point, definitely. 
Yeah. Before that, it felt like it might happen, it might not happen. <laughs> but like, who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. It just, uh, as the comment said, uh, it, it it just helped so much. Yeah, he says something like it, it, it reduced the grind time by like ten times. Yes. And do you know how many hours that took you overall? Uh, B1. Let's see, I can check that as well. That took 216 hours apparently. That uh -huh. also has the that also has the B117 right in it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So it's so a lot less time than jungle then. Yes, I spent like thousand hours on jungle in total. Well, on the whole level. <laughs> yeah, thousand and two hundred hours. Wow, dude, over. That's, that's that's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's, that's, yeah, it's quite degenerate, honestly. <laughs> do, you, do, do you have any tips, if there's anybody listening who's thinking of going for 16, do you, do you have any tips for people? Uh, well, I don't really want to give any tips because I don't really remember that much. Okay. So I don't want to give bad advice, honestly, but other than that, uh, that's... You should focus on your runs and analyze them, stuff like that. Make sure that you do everything correctly. So did, when, did you... when, once you get lucky, then you'll get the time. And I mean, the, at the ending, you, you can basically check how fast your ending w is uh, by looking at how many frames the, there's like some text that comes up when you analyze the key. Mm -hmm. You can check uh, how quick your ending is. Oh, uh, by leave it, by that, and you should have like if you check the other world records, you should basically match them. Uh, and when once you get that down, then then it should be good. Uh huh. And um, uh, we have a question from the, from chat. Did you use the splits for the grind? Uh, I think I did some splits, like, I had, like, some of bests on under 17, but I didn't, like, do much, much of, uh, Everdrive business. Uh-huh. And, basically, I, I got the uh, some of best under 17, and then I felt like, yeah, I, I should be able to do with this, um, I didn't really think about it too much, honestly. So would you say that it's it's um the leave which is the the most important part of the level for getting sixteen? Uh, probably not, but it's uh one place where you can lose time. Uh huh. Time a lot, and it's quite easy to check if you lived fast or not. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the, you're just on YouTube, for example, press dot or comma to advance one frame, and yeah, yeah. then then you'll just check how many frames you had the text up, or something like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so so it's the um, the number of frames that the text is on screen is is how good your leave is. Yeah, I think so. If I remember correctly. Uh -huh, right. It's been a while. <laughs> um, and so, when were you were you already playing? Oh no, you said you grinded Jungle Agent for Amalgamate. But um, yes, um, uh, actually, I started the grind before Amalgamates, and there's a uh, lore into the how the heart got like together. I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, um, so. Yeah, please tell us. Yes, uh, so... So obviously I got inspired by many hordes we have in the Elite. And uh, I wanted to be part of a horde, so... So I decided that I'll just ask a bunch of different people if they want to hoard and... And uh, I got few people and we had a horde before the Amalgamates. And 
and then basically I, me, we merged into another word group and then then after that we um, merged into yet another uh-huh. so so hence, hence the name amalgamate yes uh-huh so it was what a three-way horde that all got all got um pushed together so who was in your original horde um it was like bogo and bogo was also in another horde i think okay so we kind of that way we merged i guess uh-huh. so it would have been and just it was, it was just you and bogo uh and there was uh dildonius uh-huh. And Repo and uh, Hot Goldman. Okay. I think. And uh, well, well, basically, me and Pogo only ended up merging, and others kind of, I guess, were Don't busy yeah, yeah. and just didn't want to commit, commit to it. So they don't like hold others back or anything uh-huh. like that. And so, and so, what, what, what do the first other horde that you joined with? Who, who did that include? Uh, uh, the first merge. Yeah. Uh, I don't quite remember actually, uh-huh. and I don't think there's the Discord server is up, so I cannot uh-huh. really check. Okay. Anyone? <clears throat> but you merged with someone. Yeah, there there was some people, but probably basically, uh, if you look at the, um, the amalgamate sword, some of the people in there, obviously. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Mm. And so, how long did uh, Jungle Agent take you? Uh, Mm-mm, it was probably uh, actually it was 600 hours uh-huh. that's a pretty brutal grind yeah I guess I'm kind of used to it uh-huh. <laughs> at this point <laughs> brutal grind <laughs> but yeah if if I'm gonna ever gonna come back I am probably gonna focus on like the focusing part and like analyzing my runs as much as possible because uh, I kind of kind of have this attitude where I just play instead of looking at the runs and uh-huh. uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. So you feel like analysis is um, is a big part of what helps you get a time quicker? Yes, yes, I at least think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, so that's how it was for Jungle? You just kind of played and played and played and played and then eventually the 49 yeah. happened? Yeah, that that's that's what happened. <laughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. But I I think when I got it, uh, I I at, uh, during the run I felt like it wasn't good enough because I I think I had some stuck there and it was like quite surprising that it ended up being the forty nine. I mean that must have been a pretty big relief, like after spending all that time. Yeah, it, it definitely felt nice to get a, a time on the board, on the hard. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Basically, because when you see, like, other people in the hard getting times and you're just stuck playing one level for, like, God knows how long. Uh-huh, like, you start to feel pressure? Yeah, in a way, that you... I just want to get something out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, especially I guess especially if you're if you're playing one level, it makes it that much more difficult because it's it's like all or nothing. Well, it's not literally all or nothing, but it can it can feel like that. Yeah. Mm. Yep, definitely. So, would you say that's your? I think you. It, I think you said that was the time that you spent the most time on. Yeah, I believe it is, but uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure, but it, it's at least one of them. It, it, it's up there. Yeah, definitely up there. And so, when did 
when did the well I don't even know how to how to ask this because obviously I don't know a lot of the of the history behind it but can you give us a story of well what what were the beginnings of the Aztec SA129 like how did that start uh, Aztec SA129 um well, well, well. I think I was looking for looking into getting a untied, uh, and basically I was looking at bunch of different strategies on different levels. Are, yeah, which are unused or just not commonly used or whatever. Looking through the forums, and I think there are like the posts that say that this strategy is underused or not used or whatever yeah. and uh, I was looking through that and then there was the ICs human death or whatever something like that I'm not sure what it was exactly but basically a run which shows the the ending how to do it yeah. and uh, and yeah I I just basically felt like you know, let's try this out and see what happens, I guess. And well, <laughs> rest is history, I guess. Well, and, and so so the the whole strategy was already was already completely developed and out there. Then you just you were just the first one who just actually decided to try it. Yes, it was. Out oh, there. okay. I, I didn't know that. Yes. But. <laughs> There are probably a lot of strategies like that that are not used and because but, but, they but should be difficult. Yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> which, uh, which other strategies did you look at when you were looking for an untied? Uh, uh, I don't quite remember at least at the moment, but like other interesting strategies are obviously the piggy bank. bank. Oh yeah, piggy bank, yeah. Them. Um, I mean, there are probably others out there, but that's at least one strategy which I would like to try. And uh, was it S one where it was the what? Oh, the what the the the, uh, the, uh, the ook strategy. Thing. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, uh, and. Okay, okay, because I, I always thought that with the with the with the box strategy, we all knew that you know if you crash behind the box, but you would get killed. And so in the in the human task, it that shows the uh, running forwards, correct? And you just copied that and that. Yes, I I think it actually says in the description that you need to run towards the box so you get. Like closer to the box. Uh huh. Yeah. So you don't get shot. And so and so, how long did the and so what? So you you found the strategy, you tried it, and then it worked. And so after that, yeah. well, after that, like what what were you thinking? I mean, eventually I got kind of like I mean I got it working and. And I kind of knew that this should be really possible to get untied with this, and uh, and I was kind of secretive about it. I I probably told people that hey, I'm I'm kind of going for some untied or something like that. I yeah. didn't tell anyone what was, what I was doing. Yeah. But I was excited about it because I was telling about it to other people. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, <persons. laughs> and and yeah, uh, like I was, I don't remember exactly what how I was testing it, but I I basically figured out that it should be possible to do it, and uh, and eventually I got a run where I I got it working, uh, and it, it probably wasn't fast, but but. But I knew that it's possible, so I just kept on trying and 
eventually I got got the got the in coordination untied. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, how, uh, how how long did it take between um, you know discovering the strategy and getting the what well, what was once thought to be an untied? Uh, I think it took like almost two months, a little bit under that. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. That, that, that's not that's not that bad. Yeah, it it wasn't it wasn't uh, the longest grind at least for me. And and so I see, I see people playing, uh, playing Aztec now, and I mean some Ace has been using the box strat, but some people don't. Some people don't use it. Like, uh, how powerful do you think the box strat strat is? Do you think it's I mean, because some people seem to think it's, it's not worth it, but... I mean, I would say that pr people probably are not using it because they they haven't, like, practiced it, so they feel like they're gonna just lose more health because of it, and, or, like, get shot when they try to do it, and when you're crouched, it's kind of awkward when you get shot, and... Yeah. So, <laughs> just, just you can, like, mess it up easily if you haven't practiced it properly but but then, but when you won't but do you do you feel like it's consistent once you know what you're doing uh well i mean you can kind of get shot at at a bad time it's just unlucky if you get <laughs> or if you don't get well well, well 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 put it put it this way do you think it's do you still think it's would you still argue it's definitely better than trying to run back? Uh, well, it's better if you're practiced. Okay, right. Well, yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. If you know what you're doing, it's better to it's better to do it. Yeah, I don't quite remember how uh, how often you get shot at wrong time. So it it kind of depends, I guess. If you're like really low HP, then maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. Just the, I mean the drones, they're kind of strange that they sh hit you less if if you're lower HP, right? Uh huh. Um, yeah, it's, it's, so it's the same with runway. It's kind of complicated to think like if it's better or not when you're mm -hmm. like low HP. So it's like you like HP. it's like in in the middle of an. In the middle of the ending of an Aztec run, you have to be doing this calculus in your head about like. Uh, you know. Probably, probably better to just uh, no, like commit to one strategy mm -hmm. before even like before the run. Yeah. Honestly. So, so you, like you, you got the run and then like you got the time, you know, and so I mean, how how did how did that feel when you know? As far as you were concerned, like you, you just got your first gold now, Ty. I mean, I, I was really happy, obviously, mm -hmm. and I, I like started to work on a like cool, cool reveal video for it, and yeah. I made something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I still, I still really like the video. The you, you got to think outside the box. We'll we'll always remember that, even dis despite the uh, the tragedy that was to follow. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, how how was how was that when you when you when you found out it was it was all a lie? I mean, honestly, I didn't feel too afraid about it. Huh? Obviously, when when you have thought that you got the undead, but. Uh, I mean, it didn't take too long to, like, get over it, and I just kind of started the process over again, that think of a untied which I could get. Well, well were you, were you, uh, were you, so I know, obviously, you know, hoarding was always, always going to be a, a controversial subject in the Elite, and I'd say you, well, you... I, I spoke to, to Mystic Cheese uh, a few months ago, and he's obviously, he's obviously been a victim of, of hoarding. Um, 
But, but, <laughs> wait, do you know about that? Uh, what, what did you say? I didn't hear. So, oh, sorry, so you know, um, Mystic Cheese, he, yes. he got the Aztec 120 and then Ace unhoarded, yes. so it turned out he never had the untied. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, obviously, obviously hoarding can be pretty controversial. Some people, they hate it, and obviously a lot of people really like it. So, I mean, at the time, were you kind of... Was it just disappointment, or were you kind of pissed off? Like, were you thinking, oh man, this hoarding is such bullshit? Oh, well, let, yeah, what do you think? Honestly, honestly, I accepted that that's just something that comes with hoarding. Like, it's just, it is what it is. And, I mean, I, I didn't feel great, obviously, about it, but uh, it just, it just happens. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. unfortunate. But, uh, like, I, I got over it quite quickly. And yeah, like, how, how long was it between the disappointment of finding out that you didn't get an untied and then thinking, okay, well, fuck, fuck it, I have to find a new one? Well, I, I'll do really quick research, uh, which day I found out about not having it uh honestly I, I just need to find a discord chat because i got message from gus himself uh, he was really sorry about it oh man that, that, that's, that's actually that's actually very honorable of him yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean yeah it's it was really nice that he messaged me about it, and I actually asked if he, if he would like to hoard with me in the future. <laughs> that's, that's cool. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, I think it was like, was it, was it 28, 28 day when, when that got revealed? Well, Basically, if I look, it's the next day I'm already riding Cavs SA, so wow. <laughs> I guess it didn't take too long. Wow, that's 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 a great mindset. <laughs> so, yeah. what what made you what made you decide to go for Cavs SA then? Well, actually, actually, I had like thought about getting untied there one point and I had al already like grinded the level a little bit and I, I kind of felt like base was there and I might have actually had like one or two fails yeah. on 11 before or I'm not sure maybe 112 at the time and uh, and it just felt like I could get it and just started grinding it and Eventually, I got it. So, so was that was that grind? That, that must have been quite different because, obviously, you know, with the Aztec grind, you know, you were like really excited, being like, "Oh man, guys, like, you know, I'm going for an untied, that kind of thing." D did it Did it feel different the second time? Because obviously, you you would have been burnt the, I mean, the first time. I mean. Uh... I guess I had the taste of Undyed already in a way, so uh -huh. I I just felt like I'm sure I can do this again. And like, you feel you feel like you feel like it made it easier because you had got some because you had um, you had done the difficult thing of you know breaking the mental barrier of getting what you thought was an Untyed. Yeah, yeah, I I think it probably made uh, it a little bit easier. How long was the how long was the cab grind overall? Uh, I was grinding it for like uh, how long is this? Like two months, I think. Oh, so again, not not that long. Something like that, two months, and uh, I played like three hundred hours, so uh -huh. it wasn't too bad. And and I actually got like few few one ten pieces. Yeah, I mean you had that horrific stuck on the 
on the 111. Yeah, yeah, that was like when I got the stack, I was like, oh no, this, <laughs> yeah. this, this run, this run was so good. It's yeah. over now. Yeah. And then, then I got in and uh, it said 111. I'm like, what? What? That uh -huh. was it. <laughs> uh -huh. So, um. Th that must that must have been a break. I, I don't know. Like that must have been a, a great redemption for you. I mean, yeah, yeah. It it felt really great, and uh, I I just put put in the comment basically Sisu, uh -huh. which which means basically go rich in Finnish. Yeah. It, it means but what? Yeah. Sorry. Go rich, go rich. Well, like, what, what do you what, what do you mean? Uh, like I guess, like just, just that kind of attitude where where you like never give up or. Uh huh. But so it means like I go, mean, like go rich, like as in. Like, uh, like C C O, go rich. No. Oh, go 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 reached. No. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. Can can, can you type it in chat? Maybe maybe I'm I'm mishearing it. I think. It's Courage! Ah, ah, got you, got Courage. you. Awesome, yes. awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay. Language uh, barrier. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. Yeah, I should have. I, I should have heard that. I mean, that's really obvious when you say it. But um. That's what. That's yeah, awesome. That that's. That's, Honestly, a lot of cool. same similar sounding words in English. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that's not, that, that's our fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but that's awesome. That's like that, that that yeah. I always thought that, and I thought, wait, was that the name of a horde that I just I just didn't remember? But um, that's 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 very cool. That's that's fucking awesome, man. I mean, like yeah. like it, it took some balls to like come back from. Um, well, getting disappointed so much and getting straight back on it like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's just no point like trying about it. Just, just, just do whatever it takes to get it. I guess. Yeah, man. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, so, oh, well, I mean, I don't know how. How how much you remember of it now? But I guess I should ask the same question. If somebody wants to get, if there's anyone in chat who wants to get a great cabin's essay time, what are the what are the tips you could give? Well, I'd say uh, at least uh, uh, I'm not sure which which like well at when there's the room where you destroy like three consoles is it where you like throw a mine to the right mm -hmm. is it the b area or which area it was i can't i, I, I don't know it's, it's quite funny that i don't remember <laughs> these things <laughs> but yeah anyway basically you should throw the mine as early as possible uh -huh. like uh I, I think you kind of want to throw it like there's the doorway the doorway is like there's a step so you're gonna be careful that you don't throw the mine when you go the step down because you have momentum momentum down and your mine will go instantly down uh -huh. if you throw it at the wrong time but you, you should like try to get the mine throw as early as possible so you get get the M16 out as early as possible and then then just try to get every every shot on each of the consoles and they will get really fast fast B area I guess if it's the B area even uh -huh, uh -huh. so and I think mm. that on that run it's pretty fucking fast mm -hmm. I would say my if I <laughs> If I say myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Well, I mean, you would hope if it's an untied, you would you would hope so. Yeah. Mm. I I think it it's like the probably the best part of the run over on. 
So just with that, show with the consoles. Uh, so I mean, and going back to like you know the massive the massive stock that you had, you know, like the big question that you know everybody wants to know is like, would you ever go for one ten? Uh, honestly, it kind of makes me feel that I want to go over it, but but I think there are a lot of times, other times that I want to go as well. Oh, I don't know. Like, 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 are they time? Is that something you would be wanting to share, or would you want to keep that to yourself? Uh, other times, uh, like, uh, like, I, I mean, well, if. We're speaking about Android, then, then maybe that's one possibility. But, but like overall, I have like a lot of times that I should get on my times page and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you wanna, would you wanna share that, or would, or do you want to keep it a secret? Uh, well, I mean, it's just overall. If you look at my times page, there's like a lot of low low points times oh, okay so you would just want to just get some more get some more points yeah. not, not necessarily like, untides i mean untides and whatever it's kind of depends at the moment because i'm not playing the game i don't really know when when i'm gonna play right, the game yeah, again that, that's so true. but I like hypothetically let's say well i mean untides are nice but they can also be really long grinds, but I mean, I'm used to them, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean... Maybe maybe next, if I'm playing, I'm gonna probably improve just those placeholder times, which I have gotten in uh, leagues. Uh -huh. okay. Mostly. Yeah, uh, uh, that's fair enough. Mm. W would you... So, are there, are there any other untides that you... Um, that you look at and you think, oh, that could be possible, maybe one day? Well, I mean, the picky back spread. W which one? Something, uh, dam SA. Oh, the piggyback, yeah. The piggyback spread mm -hmm. is at least something that I would like to try, but I'm not sure, because I haven't Right, it might actually be like really impo <laughs> like almost impossible. Yeah, no one has tried it yet, so. But I mean, I feel like if you just spend like 500 hours, maybe you'll end up getting a yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only we'll, be, we'll never know until you know we actually give it a proper try. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there are like examples in the. Mario Kart community, they have the whatever the strategy is like. People haven't tried. Oh, like like, like, the, like the ultra shortcuts. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> like there was some video where someone like paused after they got the got the really difficult skip. Yeah. And I guess after that, some people also tried, and they ended up getting. So. <laughs> It's honestly about trying to trying this strat. Uh huh. And we'll yeah, get yeah. it eventually for sure. Yeah, dude. What about um? Would you ever play any Cavern's Doubler? Uh, well, I mean, it's interesting level, honestly. Uh, I just haven't had time to play it, uh, but I'm not sure about getting undead there. I think it's. It's quite good already. Okay, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> trying to think of. Oh, what? Um, how possible do you think Jungle Forty Eight is? Ah, Jungle Forty Eight. Um, I mean, I think there was like some, some little things that you would do differently, but. I mean, well, if I have to say, it was really difficult for me to get 49, so it kind of makes for me to seem it kind of kind of hard, hard, hard to get 48. So, uh -huh. well, uh, yeah, I mean, may maybe it's out there, but 
Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah. Who knows? I guess it's another one that's with like I guess someone just got to try at some point and then just see. If I it's mean, possible. I I think Churis did did like a lot of uh, attempts for it, but I'm not sure if he said something like that. It's really difficult or even impossible. Mm. I, I don't want to say, like put any words in mm -hmm. in his mouth. <laughs> so if he's here. Maybe he can say what he thinks about it. <laughs> and do you think... What do you th Well, do you think 10 is maxed? Sorry, 110 is maxed for Cavern's SA? Or do you think lower is possible? Uh, I think there was this... Some threat where you shoot through walls... At the B area. Oh. Uh, like... There's the... White dead... Stash. So, I would say lower is possible. But I mean, is that is that console viable? Uh, well, <laughs> well, I don't. I I haven't really looked into it, so I don't know. Right. Well, okay. Well, well, assuming, assuming, like leaving that aside because we don't know if it's, it's console viable. Like with with current knowledge, um, what do you think is the is the, is the lowest knowledge. time you can see? I mean, 109 is probably possible with with the current strategies. If you get like really clean run and boosts, yeah, I I I think it is possible. But but uh, I I don't think I got any close for 109 base. But uh -huh. maybe someone else. Else could get on our nine bases. And have you? Did you? Have you been following? Well, the the story of Cavan's one o o, where I think Joris was going for it a bit recently, and JD has been going for it for a long yeah. time. But it's just nobody. I don't know. It's still very Mania. elusive. I have uh, like seen that uh, JD and Mark Rutsu went for it, and many people were were going for it. I I think like uh, well, actually, I'm not gonna say because I don't know if they have publicly said about it. So. Ah, interesting. So there's at least <laughs> one one mystery gamer out there who's also playing for it. Yes, probably. I mean, they have probably said about it publicly, but I I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not gonna say. Well, I I I know Mop was going for it. Um, I mean, he, yeah, he is, but there's someone else. It's not. Ah, uh, okay. At, the, at one point was going, but I don't think he he is going for it anymore. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe tomorrow we'll we'll wake up to this mystery gamer. With a new untied, maybe we'll see. <laughs> and so, uh, out of one of your grinds, what would you say was the what would you say was was the toughest? Out of all my grinds, well, I think one of the toughest was probably the archive sixteen because it was so early on. That it made me believe that I just I I just wasn't for for running speed running this game because uh, such easy time took so long. Yeah. But but I had the handicap so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it kind of deceived me, I guess. Yeah. And uh, are you glad that in in some perverted way are you glad that you um you managed to. Even though you had that disadvantage, you was, you were still able to do it. I mean, I'm I'm glad I got it, obviously. Hmm. Like, or, or, I'm, maybe, maybe I'm not glad about the fact that I had to suffer. Uh huh. Like, suffer like, you, you, like you, you wish you could have just used a retro tink and got it in like 50 hours. Yeah, maybe hmm. something like that. Hmm. Like on 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 that grind or any of the other grinds. Did you um did you have a burnout? Well I mean I don't think I have had 
not really that bad burnouts, but but uh, if I feel like it's I'm starting to get burn burnout, I'm I'm probably just like automatically playing less. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like without even thinking about it, <coughs> I'm just playing less. <laughs> like just it just comes naturally, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay. Interesting. Do you play less? Yeah, that, that makes sense. So you, you kind of your 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 brain just like naturally responds to it, and so you're not the kind of person who just gets, you know, they keep playing and they get miserable. You just don't play as much. I mean, I guess sometimes I I go through the pain, but uh, I mean, usually I just if if I don't feel like playing, then I I'm, I'm not gonna play. Uh huh. Yeah, fair enough. So, and, and that, did did you keep that mind? Was that the? Is that how you felt even playing archives? That you, even though it was so difficult and, um, you know, it was such a brutal grind, you still had the, you still managed to stay motivated. Well, I mean, I don't really remember that much, uh, what was going on at the at the time, but, I mean. Uh, I guess I can check check if I like had uh, any days off or anything like that. But, uh -huh. but yeah, I, I I just kept going. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I mean, as in, um, do you remember it being just like a miserable time, or were you, um, like you you know? Well, you are you the kind of person who you'll you know you'll you fucking chuck like chuck your controller around and like go in? Are, are you ever a rager? Do you ever just be like yeah? Fuck uh, this. like I have only raged very few times in my life. Like sometimes, like I have like probably like two times I have like punched my sofa. Uh -huh. like the, the the part where you keep your hand. Uh huh. The, oh, the, 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 the armrest. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have, like punched once and like thought instantly like what the fuck I'm doing like uh -huh. this is just a game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> like why why are you raging about it? And maybe maybe like the worst rage moment for me has been like I was like play like it was not speed running. I was playing like I believe CS:GO, and I was like there, there's like this like climbing. Cli it was actually in a way spy speed running. Like there are these levels where you need to climb up the level, mm -hmm. and uh, you have timer going on. And I was I had like internet issues, so. I fell off because of the internet issue and I punched my fan. <laughs> and the fan got a dent in it. Yeah. Uh, I'd say that's probably the, the uh, biggest rage I, I have ever had. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So you do rage, but just not, not uh, frequently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know. I guess. Guys, I have rage, but uh, not, not really. Okay. Not right, much. Do you have yeah. an? Do you have any? Uh, and like, any favorite players? Um, that you, uh, that like that you really admire, or whose runs you think you really admire? I mean, I I like like Timmy's runs because he ha usually has good reactions in them. Uh huh. Yeah, agreed. And I mean, for example, well, it's not Timmy's run, but Mark Rutsu's Silo 59, and he's reacting Oh, there. yeah, when <laughs> Timmy, Timmy basically tries to knock him out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just kind of punching his chest. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, 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 that was awesome, man. Mm. Yeah, it's quite wild. And so, and so, well, what, like, what, what, what about you? What do you feel as though are your, your, your best qualities as a player? 
My best qualities as a player. Well, well, maybe, maybe the like the fact that I'm willing to put in the grind and like I'm I I don't usually like give up. If if I want to go for something, I I don't give up until I get it. Yeah. So, I guess that's that's something. Would you say that um, that's, that's actually going to be my um, my next question? Was I was going to say to what extent do you what, what, what do you think is more important, like mindset or skill? Well, I mean, I think if if there's someone who's like really talented, but but he's not willing to grind like big big time. Then, then they'll like at first they'll get times really quickly, and eventually they'll get to a point where they cannot get get the times as quickly as they are used to, yeah. and uh, they'll end up giving up because of that. So, I'd say the mindset in a way is important in the long run. Uh huh. Interesting. You say like like skill can. Still can give you give you an advantage in the short term, but in the long term, uh, mindset is more valuable. Yeah, I mean, with the mindset, you'll you can get get more skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over yeah. time, I yeah, guess. True. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hadn't thought about that. I think that's a good way of that's a good way of looking at it. And I guess like. Um, you know, like mindset is it minds skill is just something that's just there, whereas mindset is the thing that you can use to, as you say, like raise up your skill. <clears throat> yeah, um, in a way. And then improve it and increase it. So, uh, what are some? What are some? Are there any bad recommendations that you hear from people? Bad recommendations. Like, like some bad advice. Well, I mean, there are uh, probably some about like the recording setups, uh, and um, well, in terms of speed runs itself, I'm not really sure. I, uh, nothing really comes in my mind. Maybe advice I give. <laughs> they uh -huh, are okay. bad. <laughs> right. what, what, uh, well, what? I mean. Yeah, when when you listen to other people's advice, here I'm giving advice again, but... <laughs> uh -huh. So when you listen to other people's advice, you kind of sh shouldn't, like, uh, fa like, take it in face value. You should, like, think if it's, it's actually good. And, and test like, it out. I guess see other people's opinions <laughs> about it and... <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. Stuff like that. Yeah. So like, like, don't just take one person as the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you can try things out and do your own research about it and see if it's better or worse. Mm -hmm. You believe that people should uh, th think for themselves. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Pro Probably pretty important <laughs> uh -huh. to not just believe everything, everything that someone says. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, if if I if someone listens to my advice, <laughs> I would be really careful what uh -huh, right, okay. careful about it, honestly. <laughs> all right, all right. Um. Do you have any? Well, you said with with jungle that you basically just played and played and played, and then eventually uh, you you got the time. Since then, do you have any more structure to your grinds? Well, uh, my structure, I guess, is that I'll if. If I pick a grind, I I just basically don't level hop, level hop, and I just play the level that I want to get the time in, and 
I just keep doing that. Uh, and I mean, I guess at first I'll do try to do some kind of research what other people are doing and watch some runs, but uh, I I kind of kind of like the research part kind of drops after a while. Even though I I think I should keep researching as the grinds go goes on. Yeah. And just try to keep analyzing, but but when <laughs> when you just don't do it, you, then you don't do it. I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, and I guess you you can get you can get comfortable after a certain time. Yeah, yeah. That that's probably what's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was the are there any uh, are there any important lessons that you feel like you had to you had to learn the hard way? Well, I mean, I think the, there's one one really I guess elephant in the room, the OBS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That 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 you should get like actually prepare equipment. Uh -huh. like, yeah. Don't play through OBS. Yeah. Uh, and well, I mean, I guess, I guess just, just like the analyzing stuff that you pre get the times like more efficiently so you don't end up spending a lot of time as I have like grinded a lot of nights. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess those. The, the biggest lessons. Mm, and if there's a if there's if there's a new player listening to this, who is thinking, oh man, like this guy, like yeah, bands, what a legend. Uh, <laughs> like like the guy who the guy who you know he he thought he got an untied and then it uh, was taken away from him, and then he you know he had the strength of mind to go out there and then just get another one. Like, what a beast. So, if there's a player out there who just think, oh man, I want to, like, uh, I, I want to go out there and, like, become an amazing player and get an untied. What what advice would you give to a new player just starting? I mean, honestly, ask questions from people, like, send out your run to the Discord and maybe someone ends up giving you some advice and analyze your runs focus focus and I mean enjoy enjoy the progress like uh, maybe get involved in the community a bit more than I have done uh -huh. honestly okay. right. and uh, just like be in voice chats and like have fun uh, balance have have like balance in your life that you don't like just play play and speedrun only yeah just and enjoy the progress I guess was that something you were doing even on your even on your really tough grinds were you like how many hours a day would like were you playing uh, I'd say I was playing too much oh, okay. I'd say way too much I mean, if I look look at my spreadsheet here, I can like instantly see some sessions that go over ten hours. Okay. Yeah. So definitely, uh, I, I don't recommend like having that long sessions because you're just you're just not gonna focus that well, and at the end. But I mean. I mean, yeah, it's it's your life, it's your choice. If you want to spend that kind of time on a video game, then <laughs> then you can do it. But uh, it's probably a bit more efficient to just like play a few hours and focus on it. Yeah, like, yeah it sounds like you, you wouldn't you wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, I mean. I mean, at the moment, I'm in a point in my life that uh, I won't do probably that kind of hours again. I mean, I don't want to do it, but I I feel like I'm kind of like addictive that uh, I get 
addicted easily. Uh -huh. You feel like maybe like you'll, you'll pick up Goldeneye at some point in the future, and you'll like you'll you'll catch Goldeneye fever again. Yeah, I feel I kind of fear that if I start <laughs> playing again, that I'm gonna. I'm I'm not gonna do anything else. Okay, all right. Is that part of the reason why you decided not to not to play? I mean, that's one part. Uh, that's kind of I feel like that's like one one reason why my the the university studies are on pause now because I played so much. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's uh, that. Yeah, and we obviously had the the uh, pandemic or whatever. Um, yeah. That kind of like fed into the playing time. Stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, if I'm gonna play again, I'm like gonna try to limit my hours to less and try to focus more. So I'm ef more efficient mm -hmm. with my time. Did you did you think that? Do you think? Did you think that one eleven would be tied by now? Well, honestly, I didn't really think about it too much. And well, in a way, when you well, now that I think think about it, uh, the one twelve. I mean, has anyone got the one twelve even? I don't think so. Better than than. Uh, Oh god, Mordes. I am forgetting Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, so I guess in a way that that wasn't tied for so long. So so I guess it's in a way expected. And yeah. I I think the mind mind throw is one big reason why people don't go over it. How like uh, w w and at the absolute peak of your playing, how consistent were you able to get the mind throw? I mean, when I pra practiced it, uh, like I run, like I had like cheats on when I practiced in, and it's a bit different with with cheats on because you don't get hit and stuff like yeah. that. And basically, it's like almost first try every time. With, with the cheats, but but when you do runs, it's not quite as consistent. But yeah, uh, you get the mind go through the walls uh, like fairly often. But usually there's like like the uh, some something fails. <laughs> like uh -huh. you can't get the objective done, or I guess so. So fail. like how what what percentage of the time? Would you say you were able to get um, everything to go right with the mind throw? Uh, um, uh, not, not that often, if I remember correctly. Like, like fifty, fifty percent? No, no, no. Like, it, it wasn't like the incompletions were was. It's rare, I think. Like ten percent. Like ten percent of runs, no. Like more or less, less than ten percent. Way, way less. Oh, okay. Like, like one, one in, one in a hundred. Uh, well, I, I don't know actually, but like. Well, no, let's not, not let's not say per run. Let's say like one every hour, something like that. No. Like what? every few days, I oh, think wow. I completions because I think I I had like I was doing something wrong at the first area that uh, I like didn't lure the scientists correct correctly, so I was accidentally killing one of them. Oh no, I, I didn't mean the completion. But I I meant just the mind throw. At the mind throw, I mean, I mean, I I kind of don't. Don't remember. I see only say the completions in my. Uh huh. Okay. So, but. But with I mean, completions, it would be like once every couple of sessions, something like that. Yeah, I I think it was like that. But I feel like I I was doing the scientist lures kind of badly, at some point, 
completely like from it, that I was killing from from scientists there and then it failed at the end because of them something like that I, I don't quite remember mm -hmm. like that's that's the part where like I I should probably do the research better here mm -hmm. we can see the lack of research uh -huh, right, I don't yeah. remember these kind of things I feel like I was doing like things wrong so it was harder than it needed to be so if if um you know a top player decided to go for one eleven, like do you, like do, do you still think do you still think it's uh, uh it's gonna remain untied for like a while or do you think it's just it's just underplayed and then no, when I mean honestly it's most of the records uh, are just underplayed or like no like not enough people are going for it it's just it's just the way it is i, I don't think 111 is in a way special that no one could get it or anything like that like i feel like if there was a one player who committed to commit to the grind he would get it uh -huh. definitely mm -hmm. so you, you feel like um it, it, it may not last that long if if someone really goes for it then. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it could end any day. Oh, if okay. someone just go, goes for it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I guess in a way because it's, well, I mean, 2.x it's easier with 2.x because you get the elevator opened yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, so, I guess that's one one thing which makes it harder for people to go go for so so i guess that's also one oh, other one they to. might throw if it gets tied would you then feel like you wanted to go for 110 um uh, probably not honestly i mean if it gets tied it it just gets tied. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if someone go, goes for it, I'm actually kind of happy that it's over. <laughs> okay, alright. You don't have to I stress guess, about it anymore? I guess, in a way. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it. <laughs> Uh -huh. If it stays or if if it stays, okay. Okay. Like you 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 just like detached from it now. You don't feel like you're. Uh, I yeah, don't know, I mean, super stressed about it. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like that the fact that after I after you get the time, it it's just over at that point. Like it, it's about other people's efforts after that. Mm -hmm. if, if it gets tied or if it doesn't get yeah. tied. Like you, you feel like, like you, you, your work is done. Yeah, in a way. I uh. mean, if I feel like if, if a time doesn't ever get tied, maybe you, you'll end up feeling that no one even went for it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that would be disappointing? Yeah, I, I guess in a way mm -hmm. <laughs> that w could be disappointing, but I mean... I mean, I, I guess I don't mind. It just exists there. <laughs> how uh, how tough do you think one turn will be for you or anyone else? Uh, for me, it would be fairly tight because I wasn't getting the one ten paces that commonly, but someone else. I mean, there are a lot of great players out there that can face one then probably quite often you think if they just play the level you so you think it's similar to 111 like what like 110 uh 110 could be got it just takes a good player to just commit to it yeah i, I think that's the case mm -hmm. well maybe i don't know maybe uh hopefully someone will listen to this and actually, I don't know, listen to your call and uh, take up the challenge. So, yeah. 
We'll see. Yeah, be. get out there and get the one then. Uh huh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Um, unless there's anything that I've missed or that you feel like you would like to say, I feel like that's a that's that's a pretty good place to that's a pretty good place to leave things. Yeah, I don't think we missed real anything. Mhm. Mm Too important, at least. All right. I mean, I guess there was the leaks, but. Eh. That was ah oh, yeah yeah that, like that's uh, then, ah that's true but I like I I I don't know if there's too much. I mean, I was part of like what four different leaks, I guess, and I guess the first first two leaks were the most most fun in a way because you you didn't have like the times page full and yeah, yeah, yeah oh by the way at this point if anyone if anyone is in chat and actually wants to ask a question this would probably be the best time to put it in the chat sorry uh continue yeah i mean yeah the first two links i guess they were fun because times page was quite empty and stuff like that and actually the 2020 we i was with group therapy so we and this perna break and Ricky and don't touch the door and red screens i think uh -huh. and uh, well we want that leg so i guess that's cool <laughs> and i uh -huh. i managed to get the second place in scorers oh, okay. i think will was first Ah, oh, okay. Yes, I didn't know that. No. Yes. Mm. I guess that's my league, league career. League, uh huh. <laughs> I mean, like you, you seem to thrive well in the in in the uh, in the, the league environment, just like with the uh, dirt rally. Mm, well, I don't know. In a way, I feel like the league is. It was kinda. Like I I spent too much hours there <laughs> as uh -huh. well, so I, okay. that's how I got got a lot of points. But yeah, well, I mean, uh, in a way the like high high cr like high hours that I get on my grinds, it's kinda in a way bad for leg. But I kinda of like. Uh, like put the balance uh, in a way I guess by putting in more hours to get good results uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah I mean I guess it was fun fun to do something to do like during summer and yeah I mean ev everyone who everyone I know who's been part of League always, they always say they enjoy it it just seems like a good time um, yeah I yeah, mean fun thing to do yeah, uh, yeah, it was definitely fun at the time. Maybe these days I I'd spend my summer a bit differently, but. <laughs> uh huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yes. Uh, well, was well, speaking of that, I think I speak for everybody when uh, when I say that I hope I hope you do return at some point, and I don't know, uh, shock the world with another sick untied. But uh, uh, until then, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I hope, I hope somebody, somebody takes uh, takes your challenge that you've just thrown down, yeah. and uh, yeah, it goes for you know the one eleven or the one ten. Um, yeah, yeah, that that'd be that like yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, uh, well, since you're in you're in public, you're not on or you're in a public forum. Is there anything that you want to I don't know, put out there to the world, say to the community, um, or I don't know, say hi to your mum and dad or what? Uh, I mean, I guess just thanks for having me. And if someone is still listening, though. Uh, strange Finnish man talking, uh -huh. then thank you. <laughs> Uh-huh. Thank you for listening, I guess. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um Yeah, that that seems like as good a good a place as any to end it. So uh cheers everybody for hanging out. Cheers for uh the elite's fittest banana.
for being such an excellent guest. And yeah, um, hopefully see everybody next time. Cheers, yes, man. Thank you.